A few weeks ago, Working Partners ended a year-long initiative funded by the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Drug Addiction Services that we designed and delivered in 17 communities throughout the state. The main goal of the initiative was to increase the employable, drug-free workforce in Ohio. It was a big year, with lots of outcomes and accomplishments. If you want to read all about it, check, check out the initiative's webpage. But let me share information about one outcome of the initiative. The execution of a one-of-a-kind, never-been-done-before survey of Ohio businesses to assess their perceptions and attitudes, knowledge and practices related to preventing and addressing substance abuse in the workplace. 3,229 businesses responded. Maybe even some of you took it. Ohio Moss will be releasing the survey data in its entirety later in the fall. But I want to share one interesting outcome. Employers could do more to grow and maintain Ohio's employable, drug-free workforce. What does that mean? Well, you know what a best practice drug-free workplace is, right? These five elements. The survey found that one in three businesses don't administer any components of a drug-free workplace program or don't know if they do. Let's break it down even further. About a half have a significant written policy and operations, and by significant we mean more than one page. 26% provide yearly employee education, and even fewer offer yearly supervisor training. 61% do do some type of testing, but the rest? The number one reason they gave for not testing is that they don't think they need to. In the category of assistance, less than half think treatment works. And if a current employee tests positive, the corrective action is all over the place. Almost 27% terminate, 25% handle a positive test on a case-by-case -case basis, and only 31% offer a best practice second chance which means they bring the employee back after they've tested negative and been seen and cleared by a counselor to come back. Unfortunately, 40% don't have, or don't know if they have, a resource to send employees for help. And one in three responded that they were not familiar with tax-supported alcohol and other drug services in their county. We're in turbulent times right now regarding drug use. We're seeing more overdose deaths than ever, we're on the cusp of operationalizing a law to legalize marijuana as medicine, and the rate of positive workplace tests has increased an unprecedented four years in a row. Employers, you hold a lot of power in making progress. How do you measure up to these survey results? Are you doing everything you could be doing? Check out your drug-free program now for your business, for your workforce, and for your community.